it's a slight uphill this is where I can I'll be able to really tell down a bit yeah did you, did you guys hear that Oh yeah, going uphill you can really hear it. I pulled the main bearing out. Uh, the skipping may be due to this bearing right here, so I bought a replacement. And this one can be purchased uh, eBay, Amazon. But there is a slight difference. If you look here, there's a notch that looks wider compared to the stock. But it should still work. So the way I pulled this out, I pulled the bearing out is um, I use this vise here. Just simply flip it, flip it over. And I happen to have this. Um, lug nut remover it's a one and one sixteenth in size and it fits just perfectly in there so what i did i just uh placed it like so and um using a two by four wood i just hammered it down and it popped out on the other side and uh keep in mind it only goes out one way there's a um, like a lip on uh, one side there so you just have to make sure to flip it around and hammer it uh, going uh, that direction so what I'll do now using the new bearing I'll place it on this uh, this is wood by the way and the 2 by 4 and just hammer it down uh, try to hammer it down as evenly as possible so this is the new bearing hammered in and if you flip it over, you can see it is flush all around the corner here. So it's ready to be installed uh, back on the bike. Here it is back on the bike. And it took myself and my wife to uh, put the lock ring back into place there. So the repairs are done and everything's put back together. So I replaced the main gear and also the nylon gear that's in there so we got a uphill slope coming up and this is where it'll be uh, really put to the test last time I went up here I was skipping quite a bit to where I had to uh, actually walk it up So I made it up this uh, slope uh, without the bike skipping so that was a problem the main gear so by replacing the sprag clutch um, I was able to resolve the problem 